Hey guys, Robert and Ingrid here, and we've got we're a follow-up to our King Kong and Gamera retrospective with like Godzilla and Gamera retrospective with King Kong, the one that influenced them all. If it wasn't King for King Kong, we wouldn't have had Godzilla. If we didn't have Godzilla, we wouldn't have had Gamera or Mothra. Mm-hmm. So, we seem to be going this a little bit backwards. Yes, we are. I mean, especially since the last time we did it were the more recent ones. You had, we went Peter Jackson's Kong and then the MonsterVerse movies, which we will be talking about going forward. Going just little summaries, like kind of like what we did during the Godzilla retrospective. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, we're going to... Uh, this is not an intro going into it. We're just diving into the original movie. And King mm-hmm. Kong um, in the 1930s. And, oof. Yeah, it's it's definitely hear shows all... its age in a lot of ways. You something... just, we have to get that part out of the way first. Something you're going to hear throughout a lot of this retrospective is, oof. Yeah, this stuff aged very poorly because it's very reflective of a time when values weren't so great. But you can also... Stuff see simultaneously how that they were developing movies of their time and even see some stuff that you would have thought was kind of a quirk of decaying modern cinema but nope it's it right the back in this era too yep in fact the, the stuff that was remember the stuff that was written here was used as the movie in the movie in the peter jackson version uh-huh so this was actually the movie somebody mm-hmm. that would get mocked at in the jackson version now we have we still we have Anne Denham and um uh, what was the other guy Jack I think something like that yeah yeah and we had Kong now Kong stand out let's get out of the way Kong best part of the movie yeah probably very good special effects for the time I've wondered if this, this day what, if, still holds up because you still don't get how they did a lot of stuff yeah it's just like wow they managed that back in that era that's really impressive. Yep. Um, if I had to pick my favorite human character, it'd be Denim. Hmm. As much as I find him despicable, you love to despise him. Yeah, it's just interesting to kind of follow all of these antics of some guy who thinks he's such a big shot that he can do better than that he can do better than something that's a personified force of nature, ostensibly. Exactly. And then well, gets predictably kicked by the rake kidding kid's face, like you would yeah, expect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, I gotta say, though, least oh, favorite. Oh, high trouble. I see him in the background. I would say mm-hmm. my least favorite, my least favorite females in this one was it was um was Anne Faye Ray. God bless her. She did her best, but her character of Anne hates the monster. And I have a feeling we're not supposed to sympathize with the beast. I think we're, we're really meant- not. I feel like this is kind of the era in which Kong is sort of very much an at emblematic least in the of, at least in the writing, yes, is sort of emblematic of fears of the time. And I feel like it's not really controversial to say that. It's but in execution, you do feel bad for him. You're like, what's with everyone here? Yeah, it's just like they just went here and they're picking up this thing from its home and then you're taking it over over there. Like, mm. Yeah, and it's just like he's and again, it's like he finds his girl interesting. This would you agree? This is probably the least favorite of the love interest. Again, mm-hmm. which is which says which is so sad because she doesn't do much here. Even 76 <laughs> does more. Yeah, 76 does more, although I would argue oh, yeah, it's we'll, maybe a case of maybe we'll should have went too far in the other direction but yeah yeah we'll get to that we'll get yeah, to that she's basically an actress that got brought on is in it for the money and you can tell exactly. in character i mean in character yeah definitely not faye faye you could definitely tell she adored this role to the point where- yeah you can tell that she really enjoyed doing that screaming and that ah! i mean sometimes you just have like to have an excuse to scream it's very cathartic oh the natives uh, given how you've grown when, they, when Japan would do it yeah it's even worse here at least it's <laughs> like yeah at least Japan kind of has the excuse at least being like a bit it, removed it, from the re- frame of reference but it's still not great nope but again though this is how it was back in the day yeah it's just which was like, the style we, at the time Mm-hmm. it's just like Acknowledge it exists, but also do better. 
Yeah, it's one of those things where if you look at it through a time capsule, okay, I can I, I can understand it, but retroactively, yeah. Yeah, it's just. I look at this as it's the special effects bonanza, and there's a reason why people would remake it going forward with better special effects as time goes on. It makes sense. It's a great frame rate. Uh, um, um, not frame rate. Um, a great, yeah, um, it's just, setup. and it's kind it's of setup. interesting to go back into the original because one thing that is with all like the adaptations, it's sort of like references in other media is that there's definitely a lot of cultural mythos that is built up around this movie, even just in more popular con culture, not just in the kaiju. And it's kind of interesting to see that <laughs> this looks kind of more like an um, adventure movie of this era that doesn't really have any of that particular. It, it would also influence, that gets read into it later, for better or for worse. And it would also influence a lot of the movies by the 50s and everything with the giant monsters. I mean, hell, the guy who did the effects for this movie is the mentor of Ray Harryhausen. Oh, wow. Yeah. Uh, actually, let me double check who did the effects here, because he's also a prominent name. Um, This was Willis O'Brien. Hmm. Yeah, Willis O'Brien worked on this one. And again, the effects, especially Kong versus the team when they're on the island. Mm-hmm. Like it hit for Kong versus the T-Rex. Great. Especially Yeah, it's just it, like, wow, I can see why they eventually went with Godzilla versus Kong, because that sort of like yeah, is but, something very much like it right there in the original Kong movie. It's just like that wasn't something that they just entirely pulled out of thin air. But something, and Nostalgia Crit put this best, something that no other person would duplicate, Kong felt like an actual animal. He didn't feel like there was an mm -hmm. intelligence. He felt like like the bit when he's playing with the T-Rex's jaw. just like... Uh-huh. That's definitely a plus. There, yeah, there's something like, just something about this felt like this was an animal. This was mm -hmm. a beast. This wasn't some act human actor inside where you're seeing what's inside his head. It's like, no. Like, when he does that big grin, like, you're just like, what's going through his head? You don't know. Now, does this mean it's my favorite of the Kongs? I say all Kongs are equal, in my opinion. Yeah. Which was that? All Kongs are equal. I cannot pick a definitive favorite Kong. Yeah, it's like, it's kind of one of those things, archetypes, where it's very hard to deviate from it without creating something else entirely. Now, as far as the effects, which one would, I mean, we'll get to them when we get to the later movies, but obviously, great standard here. Will it be um, surpassed? Well, well obviously, that. yeah. We'll get to that, but these are going to be short little videos, by the way, guys. You're not expecting it to be long discussion, especially for this early one. It's like, there's not what much to talk about. What is there to talk about? about a lot yeah, of they stuff go to the later. island. They go to the island. They find Kong. They bring him back. Chaos ensues. Kong falls down. It was beauty that killed the beast. Mm-hmm. There's no, and I'm sorry. The acting, like I said, Faye and Denim were the two standouts. Probably why Denim would come back. The guy doing Denim would come back. Mm-hmm. But yeah, in fact, we'll get to that as we talk about Son of Kong and. Wait until we talk a little bit more about how this shows stuff we kind of assumed were more recent, if you know mm -hmm. what I mean. We'll see yep. you guys then.